Ladies, my client was able to lose 52 pounds in six and a half months. She looks amazing. Today, I wanna to give you the exact steps that she implemented to lose the stubborn weight, skyrocket her energy, increase her confidence, and ultimately transform her body. If you're a female entrepreneur or a busy professional that wants to lose 20 or more pounds, then you've come to the right channel. My name is Dr. Salako, and I have helped thousands of women lose weight and fall in love with their bodies. The tips that you are about to find in this video are what has allowed them to do it and keep the weight off. Whether this is your first video or you're a returning viewer, what I want you to do is go ahead and smash that subscribe button and make sure you don't miss out on any weight loss friendly tips. I want you to reach your goals. Now, before we dive in, I want to talk about how we developed this framework that's allowing women to lose 20 plus pounds time and time again. So for those who don't know, my name is Dr. Salako and I am a licensed physical therapist. I got my license back in 2021. And since then, I've been able to work with stroke patients all the way up to your elite athletes. I've seen people at all walks of life who are either trying to get healthy, lose weight, or just improve their quality of life. I've also been a personal trainer for almost a decade now, and I've seen consistently there's two things that women always struggle with when they're trying to reach their body goals. Those two things are structure and accountability. Time and time again, I see it regardless of whether they want to lose 20 pounds, 30 pounds, or 100 plus. Structure and lack of accountability are the main two things that keep women from losing the weight, being consistent, and keeping the weight off. In my weight loss program, we made sure to address those two main areas by providing women structure when it comes to their nutrition, structure when it comes to their exercise, structure when it comes to the habits that's gonna improve their hormones, and then accountability so that they can stay consistent motivated and do the necessary daily actions to lose the weight and again keep the weight off i want you to listen to nevi talk about her experience in the program tell me about this your experience very happy yeah. very, i was just talking to one of my teachers here yeah i think i've i'm a, my confidence level is way different <laughs> I'm I'm not afraid to like I don't know I'm I'm more confident in general so I think it allows me to be able to say things that <laughs> they are yeah. and it's easy because it shouldn't be connected to my weight or or nothing like that but that's something that I change in the emotional part of things so yeah. I didn't just lose weight with the program and that makes me really happy yeah. um I allowed myself to spend time with me and make time for me. Yeah. Make myself a priority, which is, I think, my biggest gain. Yeah. yeah. That is amazing. Now that we've set the stage, let's dive into these steps. But before we do, if you are someone who wants to lose 30 or more pounds and transform your body, and you are committed to doing the necessary steps so that you can reach the goal, what I want you to do is click the info card that's popping up and book you a clarity call. This will give you an opportunity to get that free consultation so that someone can listen to your problems, figure out your struggles, and then help you develop a clear and customized roadmap to losing the weight and keeping it off. If you want similar results as Nevi, she took the steps, she took action and booked that call, and now we're talking about her results in this video. All right, step one to allowing you to lose 30 plus pounds and keep it off. You gotta establish your body type. The first thing we did for Nevi was figure out what was her body type. That piece of information gives us a bit of history into her medical history. Are there some things that we're predisposed to, whether it's pre-diabetes, insulin resistance? Are there certain diets that we need to make sure that you're adhering to to ensure that you reach your goals? So we had her first do a body type quiz. In that body type quiz, she answered a series of questions that gave us more information into her lifestyle, her current weight, 
how her body is shaped so that we can pair her with a great diet that's specific to her. There's three major body types. You have your endomorphs, your ectomorphs, and your mesomorphs. She was an endomorph. And for our endomorphs, they benefit from a diet that's lower in carbs and higher in protein. So that's exactly what we did. We paired Nevi with a diet that was lower in carbs and higher in protein. This was a complete 180 from her current diet because she was consuming a diet that was higher in carbohydrates and lower in protein. A diet that was high in refined carbs, high in sugar, and not giving her adequate fiber. So when we did that complete overhaul of her diet, it made such a difference for how she felt, for her energy levels, and ultimately the results that we are talking about today. Once we established established her diet, we went right into step two, which was developing her caloric intake. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You cannot lose weight without being in a calorie deficit. So to determine her calorie deficit, we took her activity level, her height, her weight, and other factors about who she was. And we figured out the number that she needed to eat on a consistent basis to lose at least two pounds a week. Once we figured that number out, it was a matter of giving her the direction on what foods to eat. The beauty of our program, we don't just give women a number and say, hey, you gotta go eat 1400 calories and don't tell them how to go about it, what to cook, when to eat it, how to measure their ingredients. We walk them through step by step. If you have to eat 1400 calories, this is exactly what it looks like. This is what breakfast can look like and these are all the options that you can eat. This is what lunch looks like and these are all the options that you can eat and we make it simple so that all they have to do is cook the meals. I want you to start imagining how simple that is. You go in your kitchen, you know exactly what to eat, you know exactly how to make it so that you can reach your goals. This takes the burden and the mental fatigue away of figuring out what am I supposed to eat for my goals? Am I eating right for my goals? Is this even working? Now you know you have that direct plan. Remember what I mentioned, the two major things that women struggle with, structure and accountability. So when we're able to figure out the body type, get the caloric intake, provide her the meals to eat, this is where that structure really starts to dial in. Now I want you to listen to Nevi talk about her meal plans and how it was beneficial for her. So that is really good. What is one outside of our confidence increase, which is amazing, any other takeaways from the program? I think I learned on how to eat. I'm not, um, I give myself permission to eat things that I like to eat and not feel so guilty. I think that coming from a person that used to do keto sometimes and I used to feel so like I can't eat sugar or I can't eat rice at all or I can't not have I, my birthday was Monday and I was like I had birthday cake you know I just knew that I wanted to go work out more yeah um just allowing myself to do that learning what to eat learning that okay maybe the scale is not going down as I want to because I need to drink water um mm -hmm. just just knowing those things the the knowledge about what to eat kind of how to balance my food so that I'm not depriving myself of things that I like to eat, just knowing how to eat it. Now, if nutrition is an area that you struggle with and you find yourself one week you're on keto, the next you're cutting out carbs, the next you're high protein, the next you're intermittent fasting, and you're tired of guessing and you want to know exactly what you need to eat and put in your body to lose the weight, what I want you to do is go ahead and click that info card and book a clarity call so that we can develop you a custom meal plan to reach your goal. The structure for nutrition is set. Now we're focusing on step three, which is the structure for her exercises. A quick recap when it came to developing her nutrition. Step one, we figured out what her body type was so that we can determine the skeleton for her meals. Step two, we developed her caloric intake and that number so that she can consistently eat in a manner that allows her to lose one to two pounds consistently every week. Establishing the nutrition first was key. Next step, step three, her workout routine. She was someone that came in who didn't necessarily have the best exercise experience. To be frank, she hated working out. So what we needed to do was provide her a workout routine that was easy on her joints, one that was gradually progressing 
and didn't put her in a level of pain and soreness so that she dreaded moving even more. I set her up with two to three workouts a week where we prioritize exercises with weights, things like squats, deadlifts, lunges, body weight movements, to allow her to get comfortable with exercise, get stronger, more mobile, as we progress through the program. When it came to cardio, we made sure that she was gradually progressing. She's gonna tell you in a testimonial video coming up that she didn't like running in the beginning and we didn't make her. She wasn't someone that we were gonna have running because it was gonna place a lot of stress on her joints. So we started her off with walking intervals and as she progressed on, she's the one that started running. She started implementing running because she felt lighter, she felt stronger, she wanted to push herself. So the beauty of our program and how we piece things together, we meet you where you are and we gradually progress you as you go. Now I want you to hear her talk about her exercise experience in the program. It's been like amazing to me and just, I learned to love exercise for some reason. I was always so scared. Mm -hmm. I have this thing in my brain. So it was just, I was always so scared of working out because I would feel so unbalanced and yeah. I wasn't able to do it. And I remember one day when I started doing the, the walking intervals that you start, it says, push yourself. Um, run if you can or or just um jog if you can't and i was seeing myself like jogging for longer periods of time yeah. and i even told my best friend girl i didn't even think i could jog you know yeah. so it, those little things were really meaningful to me like i learned that i was capable of doing it so it was just good in general yeah. If you're someone who doesn't have the best exercise history, but you know you want to get stronger, you know you need to get more mobile, you're navigating knee pain, back pain, all the aches and pains, and you know it's time for a change, what I want you to do is go ahead and book that call. If you book the Clarity Call, we'll be able to sit down and develop you a customized workout program that'll keep you from getting frail that it keep you strong and mobile, that allows you to be able to walk up and down the steps without pain, that allows you to be able to get on the ground and get back up without the needs of getting help from people to allow you to get up. I want you to be able to run and jump and feel like your best self. You're not too old. No, it's not too late. You just have to take action now to allow you to get stronger, get more mobile, and ultimately work towards losing that 30 plus pounds. Remember when I said there were two major things that keep women from losing the weight and keeping it off. Number one was structure. Number two is accountability. For the final step in how we help Nevi lose the weight and keep it off, we provided her accountability. It's more than just say, hey, go do this thing and no one's checking in on you. We set her up with a success coach that checked in on her at least two to three times each week to ensure that she was staying on the plan that we set. I like to tell everyone, we in your business. <laughs> we see everything, we know everything. When you're working out, we can see it. When you're not working out, we can see it. And we send you a message like, hey, what's going on? Why haven't we done our exercises? Has life picked up and we need to adjust? Or are we falling back into our old cycles and we need to just pick the ball back up and get things rolling? So having a success coach is what allowed her to stay consistent because life will life at times, life will throw you curveballs, but having someone in your corner to push, to motivate, to encourage, and to tell you about yourself at times when you get in your own way is needed. So her success coach was able to guide her through that and also provide her ongoing feedback on her nutrition. I want you to start imagining when you eat certain foods, how you have to guess does this actually help me move the needle towards you losing the weight? Well, with our success coach, they tell you on a daily basis, hey, the lunch that you had, I think that was great, but maybe we need to increase our protein intake. For breakfast, I would like us to go a little lower carbs because you're consuming too many carbs and it's affecting our goals. Having someone to provide you that recurring feedback about what you're eating, it lets you truly start to understand, okay, this is how I need to organize my diet. This is how I start implementing these habits and reframing my life so I can develop this new identity. I see it all the time. Women lose the weight, they lose it quick, but they don't change their identity. And that's how they gain all the weight back. So the beauty of what we do is helping you change your identity as well as helping you lose the weight. Because the ultimate goal is to live a new, 
transformed lifestyle where you've lost the weight, where you're more energetic, where your clothes fit different, your energy's different, your confidence is different, you're living your best life. That is the ultimate goal. That level of accountability was really, really great for Nevi, and she did us a solid and left a Google review about her experience. I wanna read that to you. Nevi said, what can I say? This experience with Dr. Akani and his team had made me a whole new person. This program didn't only help me learn how to make changes to be successful in my weight loss journey, but it also allowed me to find the way to make my overall well-being a priority. As a teacher, mentor, mom, and overall caretaker, we tend to put everyone but ourselves first. And I can now say I found the tools I needed to fix that while also learning how to best feed my body physically, mentally, and emotionally. The level of support I received was definitely personalized and unique. I was genuinely sad when my program ended, but I am really considering finding the ways to stay with them somehow. <laughs> I've lost 52 pounds in six and a half months, and I am a new person in many ways. I am worth the investment and more. Now that is a powerful testimonial. And I love how she said at the end, I am worth the investment and more. And that is the part I wanna leave you with. I need you to start saying to yourself, you are worth the investment and more. You pour into others and you give everyone the best versions of you. But at some point, you have to say, I am worthy of investing my time. I am worthy of investing my resources. I am worthy of investing what's necessary to make sure that I can ultimately lose the weight, keep it off, change my identity, and feel like my best self. So I want you to continue to say that to yourself, I am worth the investment and more, because you are. And if you're ready to make that level of investment and you are ready to transform your body, improve your energy, change your life, what I want you to do is check out the description, click the link to book a clarity call, and I can't wait to talk to you. Till next time, peace.